Morning family, Ham's Loft. Assalamu alaikum. It's uh, Saturday, 4th of July. I think I made a video or two of a, a little bit. I'm just finished cleaning the loft. Gonna do a little walkthrough. Uh, got all the birds out. One, one trapped in just a minute ago. But they all sitting on top of the roof. One right there and one right there. Uh, I don't know what they're doing over there, but oh well. Let's take a quick look. See the windows? I got one or two bars I left up just in the in the middle so they they trap a little easier. Got the window. Even though, even the hen loft over there, which of course has still got cocks in there. I will be working on getting them out. First chance I get. I'm gonna probably get done cleaning up and then taking a shower and call it a day. All right, let's look at the inside. At this point, I don't give them no more baths because of all the feather lights, dust and everything like that. I want it to get on them and stay on them for at least a few days before I give them a chance to take any baths. So for uh, the next week, no baths, just water. So you can see one or two bars I left up just so they can trap a little easy. I know they're hungry. I haven't called them in, but let's go ahead and look on the inside. Five bags of trash. Hector. Is your two right there, and they were nest mates, and then that one right there. I'll be shipping out to you on Tuesday. All right, let's go look in the inside. This is the. Uh, section of the A team where well, remember they both combine because they can get through and at the bottom the hay pretty much stays in the parts where they crap the most and then the center after they fly around it'll make a little space right there and on this side I got the I don't know if the things actually work, but I put them in here anyway. This with the old breeding section. Some of the wood looks green because it would stay outside once I take it out and put the breeding boxes up, but I actually this is the way I want to keep the hen section permanent and breed only in that other section. So just post purchases, just piece of wood. And remember I got cocks and hens in this one. So you know how that's going to go. They're going to start trying to make nests with the hay. Well, that's not a problem. You know, once I get the cocks out of here and if the hen has any eggs, I'll just chuck them, chuck them out. And then I hit the window. I took the trap down. I'm gonna actually leave the trap out of this one. Normally I put it up in case I wanna do something. And then I used to can put them on the outside. But since they got a big flying pin now, they got plenty of room to go outside and everything. So that's it. And of course I still got The cockle off. Let's take a look at this one right quick. All right, I put uh, the dials back in them so they can't get in. It wasn't, it was too tight. So this one, I took a space, each one, and I just put a nest bowl in there just to keep them from uh, fighting all the time. But a few of them made nests underneath them corners down there, which is no problem because 
they're not gonna stay in here. You know, it's just gonna be cocks anyway. Ain't gonna be no hands in here, so it's not gonna be a problem. And then the floor, of course, I already moved everything around, so it's not a problem. I can scrape it pretty quick. Get my scrubber, scrub the wall over there. And then I'll put some more hay down and stuff in here and call it a day. And we'll just be through with just about everything. For it's cleaning. And then the focus is training. All right, comment, subscribe. Yep, they all up there. Look at the one on the inside sitting there. That's my flying team. Soon they'll be flying, hopefully. I don't know what that little guy's up to. Or oh, that one over there. All right, comment, subscribe. Let me get the house cleaned up, backyard, and do what you will do. Peace. Shout out to all the flyers.